last time on Fire Emblem Awakening. And there goes our last rescue staff. That's fine though, I didn't need it anyway. Didn't need it anyway. Why? Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. I know a lot of you guys have probably been very busy over these past weeks. I have definitely. This is the first time I think I've come home before nighttime in like a week. <laughs> so, I haven't had any time to record anything. And that's been breaking my normal flow of things. But, I hope that after all this subsides that it will be back to normal. But for now, I have made a decision. It's not really a big one or anything like that. But any supports that are on characters that I'm not using at all, I just won't do. For example, I'm skipping the Naoi and Gregor support because I'm not gonna be using or utilizing either of them. So, I don't really see a point in reading the first part of their support. It also just kind of takes up time to do so. But the rest of these, I am completely fine with going through and reading. I also wanted to state, I guess some people took my comment the last episode the wrong way and were like, but Zeno, so you're saying that people who play Fire Emblem for stats and such and difficulty are all, like, are in the moral wrong or something like that. It's like, no. I was saying it's an observation I made that's very different from my own likes of games. I guess that may explain why I tend to enjoy action games or straighter RPGs is because, I don't know, it's just not Fire Emblem. There are games I believe everyone enjoys difficulty in and enjoys uh, min-maxing and learning everything about, and to me, Fire Emblem is not one of those games that's fun enough for me to ramp up the difficulty to max and worry about using optimal everything. It's just not the style of game I'd love to do that in. XCOM, on the other hand, I turn on to max difficulty Iron Man, and I have a ton of fun, which a lot of people think is ridiculous, but hey, that's just what I like to do. Anyways, um, I really hope this isn't as, like, bad looking as it is on my recording setup here. But anyways, we are about to go into the next chapter called The Border Waste. I don't remember this one at all. Is this the one with a giant split down the middle? I don't remember. Oh. The enemy has taken the field, my lord, back already. Ha! Huh. Feels as though we just said our goodbyes. Our scouts report they are in surprisingly good spirits. Since when do you trust our scouts? Besides, what does it matter? Wait, if you don't trust your scouts, then why do you send them out in the first place? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm gonna get scouts to go and look for things, and then they come back and I'm not gonna believe a word of what they say. That's cost efficient. Besides, what does it matter? They're armed like beggars compared to us. I could break their ranks as easily as I break wind. <laughs> I'd love to hear the, so the song the bards make of that. Huh? Aversa, there is a truth about the world this Elysian whelp must learn. A man is either strong, <laughs> or he is dead. Your Highness, dire news! Oh, speak. Our troops are laying down their weapons and deserting in mass. Please, sire, I'm but a messenger. Have mercy. My lord. My lord, I have a report from Con Flavia. The Plegian army is in disarray. What? What do you mean? Right. It seems many of their soldiers are opposed to further violence. There has been infighting, desertion. Gangrel is trying to stamp out the mutiny by force, but with little success. Outside of a few faithful who serve him directly, his army is all but collapsed. <clears throat> this is incredible news, but why? Emerin. Ah. Yes, my lord, Emerin. The report says Gangrel's men chant her name as they abandon the field. Her words and her sacrifice have made her a folk hero of sorts. Sister... Emerin. Why did it take me so long to understand? She believed all people desire peace. She knew, deep down, the Plegians wanted it too. Do they really? They... I don't know. I don't know, Krom. Most of them don't really look like they care. It just took her to... it just took her to bring it to the surface. Right. I hope she can see this, wherever she is. Today we put an end to the Mad King Gangrel and bring peace back to the land. 
What the hell is this map? I don't remember this map at all. Oh, now I do. Yeah, okay, so one thing I remember is that there's annoying reinforcements that come from up here. And I really don't want to have to deal with them. Anyways, uh, this map. From what I can see, it's filled with mercenaries, mages... Gangrel, who has Eleven Sword, and... Not... Wait, does Eleven Sword scale off of magic? I don't remember. Yeah, it deals damage based on magic, which he has Eleven of. I guess he has abnormally high uh, skill and speed, so that's one thing. And for some reason, he's carrying around a Dragonstone just to have it, I guess. Kind of a weird thing to do, but not gonna argue. There's also a chest here, so I'm not that confident in how I'm going to take this map. But I have a feeling I can kind of cheese it almost. I feel like if I send Krom and Sully up here, they can take care of whatever shows up here by themselves. Honestly, they have become so strong. Oh shoot, I forgot to read all these supports. Let's do that first. I was gonna do it, and then I kind of went to the level after I was finished talking. You. Sniff. Ah, is that your famous carrot stew I smell? I hope you don't mind if I sneak a taste before dinner. Oh. No, Pan, wait, that's not for- <sighs> Sorry. Oh dear. I'm so sorry, Pan, but I messed up the recipe on that batch. Everyone said it tasted off. Well, actually, they said it tasted like last month's dishwater, but... Hmm. Seems perfectly fine to me. Huh? You've got to be joking. Please. Tagul never joke about food. Nothing seems off here. It tastes exactly the same as every other time you've made it. Uh. It does? You mean all the stews tasted like this to you when you ate them? Tagul taste buds must not work like ours, or at all. You. Would you mind if I had a bowl? Yeah. Hey, take the whole pot if you want. No one else will touch the stuff. Oh. Many thanks. You really are too kind, Onex. <sighs> I mean, I don't even get it. I added like a pound of Vegemite and for some reason no one wants it. Super happy. Oh my goodness. Like, Onex is not me. To hear you say that, Pan. That was an interesting conversation. <laughs> I feel like the start of that support was like hyper philosophical and it's like, our kinds are so different, but like by the A support, it just devolved into, let's talk about soup. Hey. That's a lot of good books you, you've got there, Sumia. Are you going to read all of them? Hello. Oh, hello, Onex. Yes, this is a lot of books, isn't it? I Someone threw them out of a wagon, so I figured to give them a good home. What a good idea. I always find it relaxing to do a little light reading in the evening. Well... Oh, you can borrow some if you want. I certainly can't read them all at once. Huh? You don't mind? Yes! Of course not. Here, which one looks good? Well... I'm not sure. What do you recommend? Well... Let's see. Oh, this one looks like a real page turner. Shanty Pete and the Haunted Pirates. Sorry. Er, thank you, but I don't like to read scary stories before bed. Oh. Oh, of course. Well, what about a simpleton's guide to Pegasus care? Um... I'm not really into animal nonfiction. <sighs> well, maybe third time's a charm. Let's see now. Oh, this looks great. Wyvern Wars, Terror at High Noon. I just got a mental picture of McCree fighting a bunch of Wyvern Riders. <laughs> like a bunch of Fire Emblem Wyvern Riders coming over a mountain and McCree's just sitting there. He's like, it's high noon. Oh god, I- my voice cracked in the middle of doing that impersonation. But still, that is a hilarious mental image to me. <laughs> well... Do you perhaps have anything a bit more, uh... I actually, no, that, that last one sounded really interesting. <laughs> oh, Pegasus Poop, I'm useless at this. Useless, useless, useless. Just pick- just pick him out of book, Sumia. It's so easy, Sumia. But no, I'm too darn useless. <laughs> uh, I, I just asked for a book. It's it's not that hard. We could just get another one. Oh, goodness. Please don't cry. I didn't mean to imply. Actually, did you say Wyvern Wars? I've actually wanted to read that one. I mean, it was terror at high noon and everything, right? You, uh, can't beat that. <sighs> really? really? You, you want that one? Oh, I'm so happy. I hope you like it. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I have to at this point. 
<laughs> it's kind of a funny support. So, as a lot of recommendations said, I'm gonna try pairing off Long Ku and Lissa. Huh? There you are, Long Ku. I take it my brother talked to you. <laughs> oh, stop it. Yes, I'm a girl, but it's your job to guard me. So no running away and being all weird, all right? Crom said that there was a plot on your life. Is this accurate? Yeah, I guess somebody wants my sweet little head on a platter. Don't ask me why. You're of royal blood. That's enough to make you a target. And any shadow could hide a knife. So we must ensure that you are never alone. <laughs> my hero. I don't have to worry about a thing with you around. La la la. <laughs> don't be careless. Keep your eyes open. Death could lurk in any nook or... <laughs> Edgeworth just like peers out of the corner and he's like, Nook and what? What do you mean, Nook? You have to finish the statement. He's like, I don't know what you mean. It's like, finish the statement. <laughs> oh, surely there is someone else better suited to this task. <laughs> yeah, but you were just lazing around catching butterflies all day. So, Krom... What? I certainly was not. <gasps> J just kidding, Lanku. Ki kidding. I'm sure Krom was impressed by your skill and charm and good looks. I mean... Uh, out of everyone here, he's trusting you to keep his little sis safe. That's a pretty huge honor, right? Right? I suppose. Right. When she says right like that super long, it reminds me of Kokichi. Because he said that quite a few times. Right. So come on, no more gambling. Let's shake hands and make nice. <laughs> oh, fine. No handshaking. That's way too lewd. We can just nod at each other, I guess. Sheesh, do you really have such a problem with women? Women. I find them disconcerting. But will not interfere with my duty. Huh? Hmm. Maybe as thanks for guarding me, I'll go ahead and fix your little problem. <sighs> or maybe not. <sighs> Fine. I'm going to train. Wait, I'm going to train then. You can just stand there and look dour. Right. That suits me just fine. <laughs> What does her training even mean? Just sitting around with healing staves and healing the wall? So, uh, we're gonna S support Sumia and Frederick. I didn't think I'd be doing this, but their relationship with Frederick behind her kind of improving her strength caused this. Oh, thank you. The bummer is that we're not gonna be using Frederick, so that's... Eh. But, uh, Frederick, I've been meaning to thank you. You're the one who polished my armor to such lovely sheen, right? To such what? a lovely sheen. I wasn't sure you noticed. Yes! Of course I noticed. My plate and weapons have never looked so good. Why? I glittered like a lighthouse on my ride today. I actually felt pretty. <laughs> You're always beautiful to me, Sumia. In truth, I've eyes for no one else. <laughs> Not even Krom? No, you're second to him. <laughs> this is like, uh... Well... Tis no laughing matter, milady. I serve Krom because I have sworn to do so. He is my lord and master. But when in your presence, I cannot tear my eyes from you. I am captivated. True, at first, it was because I feared you might blunder into a nearby tree. But soon I found myself gazing at you whenever the opportunity permitted. Huh? Oh, Frederick. Really? Please, milady. Would you do me this honor of accepting this gift? <sighs> this is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen, Frederick. Does it mean what I think it means? Ah. Yes, it means that our royal treasury is quite empty now. But, uh, what Krom doesn't know won't hurt him. My heart is yours, milady. Now and forever. If you would only claim it. But, but why? I'm so inept at everything. Weeding, fire starting, wagon repair. Never fear. None of that matters, so as long as you are by my side. I just can't imagine. That was amazing! Gods, this ring is so shiny. You must have polished it for days. Frederick, this is the nicest thing that anyone has ever done for me. <sighs> you deserve it and more. Were that I could... Wait, were that I could, I would present you with the moon herself. Yes! I don't want the moon, Frederick. I just want you. Yes, yes, yes again. You made me the happiest woman alive. And then they married. The end. I also, oddly enough, have one for Frederick and Muriel. <laughs> How did you block that? Really? You are not using your strength wisely. Too much wasted movement. Go and practice what I taught you. Yes, sir. Sir, thank you, sir. 
Uh, hmm. Frederick. Yes. Muriel, what brings you here? Um, something I'm actually noticing that I really missed from Radiant Dawn that's not in this game is what Radiant Dawn did with the multi-person supports. Not really the supports, but like the little, uh, between mission interludes you got as rewards. I miss those a lot. I really don't like the one-on-one, -on -one, uh, conversation format of supports. I really like those that included a lot of people in them. Because Radiant Dawn had that, uh, quite often. I think Path of Radiance did too, I don't remember. But they just had all these little moments with multiple characters on screen, sometimes four or five kind of doing things, and I really miss that at times. Hold a moment. Fascinating. I was convinced that young lad had you dead to rights. But when his blow was about to land, you parried with the merest flick of your arm. Such a feat would seem to defy all natural laws. What is your secret? To what forbidden dark arts are you privy? Always impressive. If you saw my arm move, then your eye is sharper than most. When my master at arms first showed me the technique, I did not see as much. Very gracious. A woman of science is first and foremost an observer. <laughs> ah, and a keen eye is a fine weapon. But I don't think you came here to discuss swordplay. Right. On that count, you are wrong. I want you to teach me that move. Well. It's no easy trick to learn. Very well. I'm a patient woman. My thanks. Very well. Shall we begin? I find that to be a very weird thing, seeing as how she doesn't really seem like a sword type. Unless she's planning to use her book with other things. I don't know. 98, 99, 100. Woo! I totally didn't just do three as soon as you walked in, I swear. Hold a moment. Why do you repeat the same motion over and over again? Hmm? Have you ever have you never heard of shadow fencing? Now then. I assume it entails performing sword strikes and parries with an imaginary opponent. Is the point of the exercise pure kinetic stimulation, or is there something more to achieve? Um... Well, by making moves second nature, you can perform them better and faster. Fascinating. Interesting, so the goal is to remember the moves in your muscles, not your mind. I think this process warrants further study. Would you mind... T wait, would you mind terribly much if I observe? Nah. In theory, no, but I've just finished for the day. I'm, I'm exhausted. Oh, I see. That is disappointing. Most terribly disappointing. But, but if you really want, I suppose I could run through a few more drills. Why, thank you. I believe 200 repetitions would be sufficient to establish a baseline. Huh? 200? Good gods, I don't have the energy for that. Hmm. Most terribly disappointing. Ugh. Well, I suppose I can find another more lucrative field of study. Perhaps I will just observe this rock. Yes, perhaps that should suffice. Hmm, it's round and smooth. Wait, no, it's still round. <clears throat> uh, all right, all right, I'll do it. Just stop making me feel bad. Uh, here we go. One, two, th three. Very gracious. Excellent. <laughs> Actually, a really funny support. I like that one. Okay, anyways, back to the map in which I'm probably gonna lose. Really? I thought we got Olivia. I swore we talked to her in the last chapter. I guess she hasn't been established? Anyways, let's just go. What's this? Good day, my little princeling. Still dreaming of your squash sister. Think again. No more talk, Gangrel. Today you die, and peace returns to your lease and Plegia. Huh. Pa, such hypocrisy. You despise me, wretch. You want to cut me down. You don't know the first thing about peace. No man does. I know more than you will ever. You ever will. Same meaning, different wording. More than me. More than me. Blah! You are me. When life asks you a question, you answer with blood. Right. Maybe you're right. I will never be my sister. I cannot forgive men like you. Men who s sow nothing but evil. It's good that you're not like your sister, Krom. Trust me. All I have left of her are words and her memory. When I w were I alone, I might be driven to madness, or worse. But I'm not alone. My friends and brothers at arms stand behind me. Are you done? May I vomit now? What a flowery harang. I I've never heard that word before. Men are beasts, nothing more. We fight, we kill, we devour our prey. Beasts do not stand behind beasts, little prince. They use each other only so long as it suits their own self as purpose. Purpish? 
Perhaps this explains why your own soldiers refuse to stand behind you. You are a poisoned, a festering wound, and I will not do what my sister could not. And I will do what my sister could not. <laughs> Such a clever tongue you have, little prince. It will look quite fetching hanging on my mantle next to your sister's corpse. Oh, there's I'll Olivia. Do my best. Lord, I have come. Am I too late? But I don't claim my dance is anything special, but Con Basilio also says it renews the spirit. So, uh, I think I'm actually also going to be using Olivia. And, like, I don't know. I didn't use her last time because I didn't really understand the concept of a dancer. I was like, eh, I don't really like them. They're not for me. But look at her animations. Like, holy shit. She also does that weird hip dance that Anna does. Except with a tiny bit more flair. So, yeah, she's a dancer. For those of you who don't know what dancers do, they allow you to have another turn for one person in this game. In other games, the sometimes it's an AoE. But anyways, she can use a sword. Her strength kind of uh, sucks <laughs> at the moment. I don't know if it gets that much better, but she starts off with luck plus four, which honestly isn't the best, but it's better than nothing. I'm still trying to mentally formulate a plan right now. I don't know how, and by the way, the footage is a little choppy, my apologies. I'm trying some new recording settings as far as the capture card goes. Um, or it could be because my capture card dropped the other day. I don't know, but I think it's actually the new settings I'm trying out that's making it a little on the slow side. So my apologies if it's like that at all. Anyways, I don't really honestly have a plan, but I think I'm going to do exactly what I said. And that's put our OP power couple over here and have them just fight everything off. Because I know things are going to come over here. I remember that specifically. The rest of the map, not so much. Not so much. Uh, but we're going to go with our regular pairings, which have been going swimmingly so far. Yeah. Where's Long Koo? He's right here. You know what, Lissa? You can stay with Long Koo because I really want you two to have support levels together. So. And I don't know about Marissa anymore because it's like, I, I have Long Koo and he's doing so well. So, it's kind of scary. Anyways, let's just start advancing. No point in waiting around doing nothing. Uh, how about Tharja can go with you? I know it's kind of a weird one, but... It'll get you there faster. Um... You know what, you two can stay... On your own for now. So yeah, uh, seeing her animation, let me turn animations on so you can see this real quick. Uh, I love her animation for dancing in this game. I remember it. I like it a hell of a lot more than anything Azura does in Fates, for sure. And I like it. It's probably my favorite dance animation there is. <clears throat> yes, draw closer. Let them charge at me with their rage. More of my soldiers shall greet them at every foolish step. I guess that's supposed to be your hint that there's going to be reinforcements. But it... I, I don't know. It really doesn't drive that home. I need to look at what they have because I feel like... One of them may have an anti-dragon weapon, or a beast killer, or something. Come on. I think one of you is probably gonna have a Wyvern Slayer or something. Not really, actually. They have some pretty standard weaponry. But first things first, we have to get rid of these mages, who are everywhere. So... Hmm. Let's see, what's the range on these guys? We can move up to about there. Let's see. Sumia, how strong are you? Uh, you are pretty damn strong, and you have like a 50% chance of dodging most of these things. Yeah, we could really... Hmm. I'm debating what I'm going to do here. I think what I'm going to do... This may be foolish of me. I apologize if it is. I'm going to put her right here. And give her a javelin to use. I have your back. Oh, I'll get the next 
one. She's super good. Um, luckily, I'm out of range of that Elwyn Tome user. But she will have to deal with these guys. Next, I can move... So let's actually switch here. And we'll grab Elwind. And as for the rest of us, we can't really do anything until they come a little closer. So in the meantime, everyone else is just gonna... Kind of camp it out here. I'm hoping maybe we can draw some aggro from anyone else. So now that you've seen Olivia's dance animation, I'm going to turn it off forever. Despite how awesome it looks, it's just... You use it too much to... Yeah. <laughs> much faster this way. So, I don't know. Is there any thieves around here that are going to take things from these chests and run off? I don't think so. I think they're just there. So whichever way I go... Yeah. Okay, I feel pretty safe. Honestly. You guys go at him. Have fun. <laughs> you up for this? And Tharja's weapon level went up. We can handle this. That's good. Uh. Nice dodge. Those two are far too strong together. <laughs> In fact, I think, yeah, they're getting near promotion. I think our first promotion's actually going to be uh, Alyssa, because she's level 19 right now from my weird healing spams, so. Thanks. What level is Crumb? I think he's a lower level than she is. No, nope, they're the same. This game is so much easier when you actually focus your XP into certain specific units. Uh, my first time playing through this game, I was spreading it way too thin. And that made it a lot harder than it needed to be. Oh no. <laughs> then again, I'd probably be regretting everything if I was playing this game on Lunatic, but I don't think I'd ever play Awakening on Lunatic. Like, Lunatic really does require knowledge of what's going to happen, especially with how the reinforcements work. On hard, I at least have a chance of surviving reinforcements. Look! Frederick's level 3. <laughs> level 3 pre-promote still, but still only level 3. Yikes. She's in danger. Okay, that went pretty well, all things considered. I kind of played it a little risky with Larja here, but overall, I think we're doing okay in that respect. So let's mend. And she got weapon level A. Awesome. Let's dance. 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 Magic dance. And I can use him to slay one of these random mages. Uh, that's probably not the smartest thing. Kill the weaker one. I believe Lissa is... Yeah, she's giving him a res boost, so that's super nice. Uh, let's see. What am I going to do next? Onex and Pan are just kind of hanging out. Can they one-shot? Yes, they can. Die, demon! What level is Pan? She's only level 12. Yeah, I really need to work with her. Die, demon! I suppose you tried. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, next. We're getting closer to Gangrel, but I'm not gonna, like, rush him or anything. I'm gonna definitely try and stay out of range of all of this. Because who knows what is going to happen once I start moving down more. Uh, let's see. I should probably take out the hero first, but... You know. Maybe I should send over Anna to help out? That's actually not a terrible plan. We've got this. The Elfire animation actually looks really cool. It's like a flamethrower. And a Master Seal from that guy. We'll switch to Krom because he has the anti-dragon weapon. Which really isn't all that much better, but... Looking dirty. I like it. Ah, it's pathetic. Thanks, friend. Okay, next. I'm a little worried of things spawning in here, because I know they might. Like, it just will happen if I leave everything unguarded. So what I'm actually gonna do... So I'm going to separate these two. Actually, it's not very smart. Let's not do that. It was a plan at first, but I changed my mind. I am going to put her in here, though. Still kind of risky, but... My steel is yours. He really doesn't do that much damage. And Frederick's helping out. Well, shit. I didn't think they'd spawn that fast. I totally should have blocked it off. It would have been worth it. Because now Muriel's probably gonna die. I owe you. Well, both Muriel and Mirabelle are in danger now. Because uh, Muriel has to survive a Wyvern Rider? And I think it was a another... Mercenary that spawns below her. Good luck. Oh, shit. Oh, she's so dead. She's so dead. I've gotten lucky for far too long. Yep, that's a restart. I honestly didn't think they'd spawn in that early. It's only been like a few turns. And I thought they'd spawn in behind us too. Is it just something that happens? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to try it again and see how that works out. Time for time skip. Okay, and we're back to pretty much where we were before. But, um... Yeah, here they come. Luckily, I positioned Lissa, like, one space away from killing range. Thank you. I've done pretty much the same thing I did last turn, except I was a tiny bit more aggressive, so... Or last session, I should say. Thanks, friend. And Krom and Sully are just leveling up over there. We're trying to divvy up XP over here. I'm right here. Really, they can't be taken down. <laughs> And they're both going to be promoted soon enough. This power couple is just too strong. But they do need to hurry up because 
They need to get down to Mr. Thief over here in two turns. Luckily, Sully does have the, uh, whatchamacallit? She does have a javelin, so I think we can actually kill the thief out of range. No, she doesn't. Never mind. Do we have one in the convoy? No, we don't, but that's okay. We can get to him next turn. So I guess until then, we'll just iron sword it. Wow, it wasn't a kill. Kind of surprised at that. Olivia, would you like to? Look at this <laughs> Sorry. That was the proper two. But I've seen her in other people's games become a... semi-viable combat unit. But I just realized I need to protect her from bad guys right now. Because this guy's a hand axe, so she's going to get hit no matter what. And that's kind of scary to think about. So what I'll actually do is I'll transfer Frederick over there. I don't know how she got hurt either. So, if that guy throws a hand axe, she'll at least be a tiny bit more defended. Not really anything worthwhile, but whatever. I may have made a mistake. Well, at least reinforcements didn't spawn down here. The best thing about this run is I barely grinded. I think I did... Yeah, I did the one map in which... Oh, please don't die. Oh, you're good. Thank you. Good job, Frederick. Okay, yeah, you guys just murder it. Do the dead. I'm right here. Oh, he did- he never even opened this one. I didn't notice that. I thought he opened it on his way here, but I suppose not. Stay focused. Tharja even unaccompanied is still really great. I don't know how Henry fares to her. Or compared to her, really, but she's doing just fine. Even for not having Nosferatu on her because I took it off on accident, but yeah, she's still doing fine, though. Now, I do have to decide who's going to go back for those guys because there's a mercenary who has a speed wing that I really want, and one that has an armor slayer. Well, Dragon Knights aren't considered armored, but sending one against two guys with swords, probably not the best plan. No, don't! Well, that didn't work how I wanted it to. But whatever. Let's start moving forward. I am scared of another set of guys spawning on some of these forts, but... I don't think the game would be that unfair to a point where it's gonna be like, I'm going to do a double spawn! I'm going to spawn them over here, and then over there, and then back over here. Okay, well, that's not as bad as I thought. I want to stop giving them XP for a moment. They got to clear out an entire side by themselves, so... We will have to worry about these guys, though. Take 
Uh, yeah. So she's almost maxed out. But... I need to transfer... Yeah, let's do that. Transfer Frederick over to Sumia. Move you... All the way over here. So you can fight off those guys. Let's use the killer lance for this, too. You can learn a lot about this world from a Pegasus' back. See new things every day. Like, apparently, experience points. I think she should be fine. Yeah, she should. But what I do have to worry about is this Wyvern Rider. Because most people can survive him. But still, I have to be careful. Anyways. Let's go kill this guy. Because we're not an armored unit. Onex is hitting 105s. <laughs> we got an armored slayer though, so that's good. Uh, yeah. Serious? Another round of enemies? I'm sorry. Really? I didn't think there would be a third wave of enemies coming from the same spawns. Never fear. Oh, it's a retry. This is why Awakening is my favorite game to play ever. So one enemy spawned, because I managed to block all of the other ambush spawns. So now I'm just going to take up multiple turns in a row to make sure nothing else will spawn. my own fault. I tried to block an ambush spawn when I shouldn't have. Restart number four. Yeah, you probably won't see this, but I've restarted four times now. So here we are again, past the third tier of spawns. I don't know if there's any more. I don't care if there's any more. We just bet we just gotta finish this, that's all. I got the speed wing, I killed the thief. There is nothing else I need here. So now we just sit here and wait until we confirm that there are no more reinforcements. Because that's how you have to deal with reinforcements, I guess. Is by doing nothing. Oh look, there are more reinforcements. <laughs> Who could have guessed? And more reinforcements. Don't get careless. I'm debating if they are infinite at this point. Okay then. Here we go. So I have to get to that chest. I don't have any thieves. Actually, never mind. Anna can open the chest. So that's that problem taken care of. But the first thing we have to do really is to draw them out to here. And honestly... Yeah, let's see. What's the range on these guys? They cannot hit that center fort, but these two mages can. So, that looks like a job for Tharja to go through. 
And the rest of us will just not move. Need a hand? Her, her dark eyes make me wonder if she's wearing eyeshadow or she's just really, really tired. Can't really tell. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, I think I just lost the level. He has just enough damage. Clean to each other won't save you maggots when the boot falls. Come on. Please miss. Please. Fuck. God damn it. I'm sorry, Onyx, but I can't help you anymore. Okay, uh, I'm gonna come back to this level tomorrow. Uh, see you guys then. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. It's the next day, and I went about this with a very... different plan. I didn't intend to do this, but I accidentally moved too far forward, and kind of, uh... attracted Gangrel. <laughs> I really didn't want to, I kind of wanted to hang back and not have to worry about it, but not everything always goes as planned. So here's what we're going to do. I actually don't have a plan to get out of this, so here's what I'm going to attempt to do. Oh shit, I can't even get into that fort, can I? I want to try and stay out of Gangrel's range, but we have more important things to worry about right now. So I'm going to have Krom go up here. And destroy this guy. Get it together. Because we have a lot of things to worry about. I think this is the last wave of reinforcements total. Luckily, so I don't have to worry about even more coming in. But right now, for all intents and purposes, we're playing Fire Emblem 5 because all we're doing is running away. Um, yeah, right now, our main goal is just to back up and regroup. That's the most important thing. And I want to try and eliminate all of these guys before they have a chance to do anything. Luckily, my strength is so high that I can just kill mages before they can even do anything. So I don't actually have to worry about them anymore. Well, I mean, I do if I'm facing several, like what's coming for us. But other than that, we're doing okay. I have a lot of killing edges lying around. I know a lot of people try and save these, but... I love this part. They've helped level stalls sore level... Yep, sore? Sore do. level? Sword level... <laughs> exponentially. Because it allows them to get some very easy kills. Uh, but Gangrel and friends are going to keep approaching. And we're gonna have to fight them pretty soon here, if not this next turn. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight them this next turn. I don't see a way out of that. But... Damn, he's pretty resistant. And sadly, we haven't healed much, so... We're kind of in a bad spot right now. But if I take out one of these mages... Or both of the mages... I think we'll be pretty okay from here on out? It's kind of hard to say, honestly. With Gangrel, since he's using magic, I can actually get in there with a Killer Lance and do quite a bit of damage to him with Sumia. Oh man, I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do here, like how I'm going to go about this. Because even if I went in here with one of these two and just decided to attack him, his speed is so high I can't do anything. So what I'm thinking of doing actually, perhaps, is... Maybe having another regroup once more. 
Oh, he actually has six movement. No wonder he caught up to me. Uh. But yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move. We need to start killing them or else it's gonna be even more difficult. I'm gonna move Sully down here. Oh, she doesn't have a ranged weapon either. Oh, this is such a tough situation right now. Because I can keep retreating, but I feel like it'll only get worse if I do that. But as for right now, I just need to heal everyone really badly. Drink that just because I don't have anything else. Perhaps I could try and draw them to a side forest or something. Like, Angro can't do that much to her. And there's a bunch of sword users out here, too. So I placed her out here with a javelin. It's gonna break, but on the bright side, she'll be able to do quite the number before it does. I swear I just heard the audio go a little fuzzy, and that's worrying, but... May have just been a little... Uh... Buzz. Or something. I need to heal Sully back up again. Okay. Oh no, I want to get Tharja out, because even Tharja against him... She's not really worth using against him, in fact. I want him to attack people that are gonna hurt him, you know? I didn't expect that, but that's actually fine because he has such a low hit chance. Yes. Okay. Clinging to each other won't save you. Yeah, I heard this last time. My steel is yours. Yeah, let's go, Sumia. Frederick, what the hell? Like, the one time you don't want to do anything. And the main reason I'm just a little weary about this is because there's also this chest down here, which I am obviously not going to get. Unless I route or, like, move an enemy around the map constantly, but... Oh, she can't do quite enough damage, but if I do this... No, I don't want Tharja taking any damage either. Ooh, tricky situation. Not really, but... Here's what I'm gonna do. Should probably stop wasting hand axes in melee combat, but you can't tell me what to do. I mean, you can, but it's in the YouTube comment section, so it has little to no power. Unless it's nicely put, then I usually listen. That's something I've never understood about reading YouTube comments. Like, some people, like, put in the most malicious possible comments that are supposed to be advice, and I don't take the advice, and they're like, but, but why aren't you listening to me? I'm telling you everything you need to do. And it's like, well, like, even if you're right, if you're a jerk about it, I'm just gonna ignore what you have to say. <laughs> Like, there are times when I have, uh, very purposefully done things wrong. I mean, normally I just accidentally do it wrong because I'm bad at everything. But, I, on times, on occasion, I have purposely done things very wrong. Just to make certain people in the comment section upset. But, <laughs> only people who are being kind of rude. Wait, doesn't... Sumia can totally use the Silverlands, can't she? Trade. I will trade the Iron Lance for the Silver Lance. Yes, here we go. Die, Gangrel. None shall harm you. Fool, Prince. Your people cannot care for you. You are alone. As every man lives and dies alone. Cool, we got our first Levin Sword. And a Dragonstone. Which, I don't think I need that at all, actually. <laughs> actually, if I trade with Frederick himself and just stay as Sumia. I can totally Yeah. Not have to fight back. I need to, I need to get you out of here. Actually, could I just 
trade or convoy. No, we don't have any extra chest keys lying around. That's fine, though. What is with the AI? Why? What is wrong with you? I set up a defenseless target with less defense that can't fight back and you still want to hit me? Is it because Frederick is bumping up her defense? So I don't understand. I don't. Sire. Sire, the remaining Plegian forces are surrendering in mass. Good. Order our forces to cease fighting at once. Sire. Yes, sire. <sighs> then it's finished. Once their messenger delivers our terms, that's it. We put an end to this bloody business once and for all. We've won. Somehow I don't feel like celebrating. Nah. Victory can be bitter, as well as sweet, boy. It's good you learn that now. <sighs> Regna Ferox lost many good soldiers today. We need to see our dead. I love that giant greatsword she just keeps in her portrait. Then it's time to attend the, to the living, attend to the living, and rebuild our army. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Flavia. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Elise will compensate your nation in whatever fashion. Please. Oh, in that case, how about you hand over the fire emblem and we'll call it even. Ha, <laughs> just a little Feroxy humor. Just like Krom already has that, he's like, sure, here you go. It's kind of, it's pretty garbage, actually. Don't worry after our finances, Krom. Uh, reparations will fall to Plegia, and I've seen their treasury. They can well afford it. Oh, great. Yes, pity the man who stands between Flavia and a full coffer, boy. One of the things I actually liked about, um, Radiant Dawn that this doesn't really show here, is like here it's like we killed Gangrel, and now the war is over forever. And I guess that's under the idea that Gangrel is the only one pushing the war forward, and because of Emmerin's speech, no one else wants to fight except for those who are, like, deathly loyal to Gangrel in the first place? But that's something that Radiant Dawn actually did that I liked, where rulers and people of higher position will disappear and their armies will still continue. Like, it's not, we killed the king, now the war is over forever. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Prince Krom spent all of our finances on confetti. I'd love to think he's doing, like, the uh, salt sprinkle up there with confetti. <laughs> and so the war between Ulysse and Plegia was ended. Prince Krom and Onex worked tirelessly to restore Ulysse's splendor. This would be no easy task, for the war had taken a heavy toll on the Haladim. But with Feroxy muscle and Plegian gold, they brought peace back to the people. All the while, the prince forswore the title of Exalt, out of respect to his late sister. Even so, his subjects grew eager for their new ruler to take a wife. He's already married, and in his heart, Krom had always known who that woman would be. The royal wedding was a joyous occasion, attended by thousands from near and far. So, apparently, it's possible to get Krom to marry Olivia, by the way, but he has to have no supports, and you have to get at least one support level with Olivia, which is something you would definitely have to intentionally do to get that to happen. Finally, it seemed that the last lingering wounds of Elise's history had healed. But then, two years later... Yeah, there's a giant time skip here, but no one looks any different. That's what kind of bothers me about it, is like... I wanted Krom to have like a beard or something, or look older, but his sprite looks exactly the same two years later. Like, I wanted some change in him. Physically. Sire. Sire, a messenger from... Uh, Regna Ferox. Because, I mean, I forget how long the time skip was between Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, but I just went to the gym every single day, and Soren watched from the corner, and he's like, Soren, just come out, I don't get what's wrong, and he's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine over here. <laughs> Good. See them, in see them in at once. Yes, sir. Yes, my lord. Frederick, their hats are stupid. Next bill, we change it. Your Grace. Rimey? I don't remember this character at all. 
Prince Krom, I've come on behalf of Con Regent Flavia. Oh, she's not one of ours. <clears throat> Flavia? Well, this is a surprise. Is something amiss? Right away. I fear so, my lord. The Con requests your presence at a summit as soon as you're able. Really? What's happened? Yes, my lord. Our western neighbors of Valm are no longer acting so neighborly. The Emperor, who they named the Conqueror, has launched warships against us. What? An invasion, are you certain of this? Forgive me. Yes, my lord. The Khan hopes to meet with you in Ferox if it pleases you. My lord. What do you make of this, sire? Right. Ill business, to be sure. Rimi will meet with Flavia at once. Where's Onex, the most important person? Oh no, it's Krom's wife. Krom. Krom. Forgive me. I know what you're going to say, Sully. We owe Regina Ferox a great debt. I must appraise myself of the facts there. Wait, I must appraise myself of the facts there before deciding on a course of action. Right. Han, huh, I suppose I'll stay here. Right. Fluff the pillows, bake some damn pies. <laughs> I love how it directly makes fun of one of the worst supports in the whole game. Maybe knit a blanket so you can snuggle up in your own damn pig-headedness. To hell with that, I'm coming. <clears throat> but Lucina's newly born. She needs her mother now. <sighs> she needs milk, Krom, not mothers. She can be wet nurse like the rest of House Ulysse. Hell, you and Lisa turned out fine, didn't you? Yeah, Sully, the best mom. Lucina's a strong child. She takes after her father. The brand on her left eye proves it. And I'll not let you be the only one to set a strong example. Still... Sully, please, will you just... <laughs> you can try and stop me, Krom. Maybe even sneak away on your own. But you, of all people, know how I ride when I'm motivated. I'll catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Better just give in right now, Krom. I mean, it's not like you're ever going to win an argument with Sully anyway. <sighs> Lissa, you're not helping. <laughs> Just promise me if there's any danger, you'll stay out of it, Sully. Please. That is a weird command for Sully. Like, it should be, Sully, if there's any danger, you must at least kill 25 of them. <laughs> Lissa and I had... Wait, Lissa and I had M, of course. But we lost our parents when we were young. I want Lucina to grow up with her whole family around her. Yeah. Yes, her whole family. Just remember that means both of us. My lord. I will ride ahead and assemble an escort, my lord. Mm. Thank you, Frederick. Wow. I'm quite impressed, Krom. You make quite a fine ruler. You've come a long way from tending sheep. <laughs> huh. Have I truly changed so much? <laughs> hmm, in a way you haven't. But you've grown as a leader and of course as a father. Right. I've tried to do my best. My sister left a weighty legacy. I do all I can just to live up to it. I love how it says, like... It says I was helping Krom, but it didn't say I really did anything. Uh, there's still Risen here, Krom. Should we be here? <laughs> how come they haven't gotten rid of them? Forgive me. I apologize. I should not come... I should have... I could not come sooner, Flavia. Sorry, when I'm away from recording like this for so long, um, especially since it's been a good week almost, uh, I have to, like, kind of regain my commentary, you know? It's something that I have to constantly do. Hey. What matters is that you're here, Krom. You alright? Is it true Velmi's warships have set sail? What can you tell us? <sighs> Not much more than that, I'm afraid. The details remain hazy. Just a moment. Oh, where are you? You big, bald... Krom is here! Just screaming across the... room. Oh no! So, uh, I didn't look down because when you're- when you're recording, you're looking straight at the screen you're recording with. My 3DS was running out of batteries. So, uh, I don't remember if we saved before all those cutscenes, but... I hope I got a save prompt before that. Please tell me I did. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Okay, we're back. That was scary. <laughs> oh, man. I just wish... 
I mean, it's a bit to ask for a modded 3DS, but I wish there was like a little indicator on the screen or something, just so I know, because the 3DS itself doesn't, or the 2DS as I'm using, doesn't make any noise or anything. Uh, you're supposed to be looking at it, and when you're normally looking at it, you'd see the red light, but I have it hooked up to a monitor, so I don't see that. Ah, uh, well met, boy. I knew you'd come. I don't know where we were last, so I'll just keep reading. We have someone you should hear from, I believe you've met. He claims to have insight into Valm's intentions. Is it Marth again? No, it's... Virion? Who is that? Greetings. Good day, lords and ladies. How fair you all. Allow me the great pleasure and indeed honor of introducing myself. What? We all know who you are, Virion. <laughs> Although I don't believe we've met your companion. You know nothing. Prepare for my great unmasking. Long have I posed as the as archest of archers, yet that was a ruse. Yet an artifice to disguise myself as a mere above average man. In truth, I am... Ahem, may I present Duke Virion. I am his humble servant, Cherish. I didn't remember what Cherish looked like at all. She's a cute, and she has a dragon... weird thing. I, I don't know why... That dragon plate under her chin seems really restrictive and kind of dangerous to wear. Like, really dangerous to wear. Greetings, sire. You Greetings, sire. Us. You honor us both with your presence. Wait. Cherish, you stole my moment. Listen. A pleasure, Cherish. I know a lot of people call her Cherche. I have a friend who, who like begged me to call her Kirky. <laughs> But I've always just said cherish, because that's how it works for me. Um, perhaps you should speak on your master's behalf. Well... I, that may not speed things along, yes. Good. Then please, time is of the essence. <sighs> Very well, then. First concerning our origins. We hail from Rosane, a fertile territory on the continent of Valm. My lord is the head of House Virian, and the rightful ruler to Rosane. To <clears throat> Roseanne. However you want to say that. A fact he often reminds us of, and loudly. My, my. Huh, is she not a true wit? She gets it all from me, you know. Hmm? So it brings a noble and his charge all the way across the long sea. Ah, yes. Wait, did he just say charge? I don't know how to see the text again. Yeah, charge. I don't know what a charge actually is. The Valmese, there was an unremarkable nation once. Tiny, almost pitifully so. Had our continent not shared its name, you might also have forgotten it existed. And so Vol might have remained if not for Walhart the Conqueror. I've heard this name many times before, but I don't remember, like, who it is. One by one, he has taken the surrounding realms into his growing empire. I had no choice but to ru- Er, that is, to recruit new allies to aid my people. That is why I've come. <sighs> you fled for your life. Oh my. More or less, yes. While my lord hastily gathered his valuables and guided his people out to safety, I alone remained to keep an eye on the Valmese crisis. I was there as Rosane, as Rosane was swallowed up by Emperor Walhart's overwhelming, overwhelming forces. God braces. <laughs> In the end, I too fled here to Regina Ferox, seeking asylum. <laughs> to my great relief, I might add. Eligible women are one of Rosane's most precious natural resources. It would be a shame to waste any, even one who cuts off her lord and ma- <laughs> How's that? Ahem, as I was saying. My, my. Yes, yes, all right, it was only a jape. Please, by all means, you may con- If I may. So begging your pardons, but perhaps it is time to cut this long story short. Walhart has conquered our continent and now seeks to conquer yours. Well, at least he lives up to his name, I guess. Right. She claims the Valmese fleet will be at our shores in a matter of days. We'll know soon enough if her story proves true. Oh. I speak only of what I know for true, good people. As does my lord, at least with respect to, to this matter. Oh. I'm turning the screen so I can see it better. There's that wit of yours again. <laughs> that wonderful, needling, chafing wit. Hmm. I believe you both. Basilio, we must secure your ports as soon as possible. Ye. You should know that Volm has the strongest cavalry in the world. He will want to station troops with the experienced fighting mount with experienced fighting mounted units. 
Why, Virian, are you volunteering? So, you can actually recruit them through uh, two various ways. Either you pay a bunch of money, or you fight them. Um, I don't know if I could beat them, because I think those are all... Well, they're just level 20 mercenaries, but still, that's really strong. And then Marissa herself is a level 5 swordmaster, so... Maybe paying her is just the better bet. Maybe paying her is just better. Plus, I don't really need the money. My renown increased. So if I go to my inventory now... How does this work, exactly? So I have Marissa now, but she can't have supports, so does that... bring her to a major disadvantage? Can I see her? That looks... close-ish. The hair color is not quite right, though. Why is she exuding an aura of darkness? Well, whatever. I have her one way or the other. That's fine by me. <laughs> but we're gonna need more swords. Anyways, uh, I do have some promotions I want to do, even if it is a little early. But whatever. You know. So Lissa is level 19. Let's just go ahead and make her a sage already. This is going to be interesting, because this is the first time I've ever promoted a healer in Awakening at all. <laughs> yeah! It sucks, too, because the War Cleric is such a... It's a much better design. I like it so much more. And they decide to use that in most things, in fact, because it just looks better. But... Anyway, she can use tomes now, so that's cool. So, you guys told me that apparently Dark Flyers in this game are OP because they get the special skill. I can't remember what it's called, but I think it's the skill that allows you to attack twice in one turn, which is absolutely bonkers. Um, so, I think that's what I'm going to turn her into. As for my plan for everyone else, um... I might actually just turn Lon Ku, I don't know, that sounds weird, but I might turn him into an assassin. I don't know. Might be different. As for Krom, he only has one uh, promotion line. Oh, you can Master Seal Krom. I didn't know that. I thought he leveled up by story. Huh. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you liked this episode, despite my uh, constant failures and complaining, please leave a like. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. I am never doing this goddamn paralog. <laughs> it will stay undone forever. See you next time, right now.